Hi, my name is Raksha Rani and I am studying B.Tech Honours Computer Science Engineering, specialising in full stack software development at School of Computer Science Engineering at LPU. from Mumbai, Maharashtra and the feeling of getting the code right and understanding the logic behind it after it works and also while I'm going through a problem that prompted me to take this field as a career because along with that I'm also pursuing something that is I'm uh, passionate about. So I took multiple courses to figure out what I'm actually interested in. Um, there was this course called uh, CS50X by Howard and uh, during lockdown I continued it. It had multiple labs and projects and problems and the professor David Mellon was very innovative in his teaching methods and that prompted me to keep continuing this. Apart from the uh, curriculum that I've studied, I've also got to apply it in various communities like GDS, CLPU. Uh, it has been a really strong uh, pillar of support and uh, encouragement to practice my knowledge up away from classroom. I am also the uh, Women Tech Makers lead of Google Developer Student Club. I have observed it from the year I was part of GDSC and now that I get to lead this side of it, I am uh, planning to host a lot of things that help women to incorporate themselves in this field and not be ashamed to raise their opinion and give their ideas to public. Just because there are less ladies doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. You can be that lady who does it and you can encourage more ladies to come forward. So you have to be an example to uh, be an icon to other people. So I'm currently working on a project uh, which is based on sentimental analysis. So as we might have heard about Taylor Swift. So recently she released an album called Midnight. So before that album came out and her previous works, they all had this Easter egg thing uh, that was leading up to this album. So my project is about finding those uh, links like day and night references so all the night references would lead to midnights and has she like in what sentiment what emotion has she expressed that lyric in so was it a positive uh, emotion so that would be marked as day and for songs like daylight it would go as a positive sentiment so other songs which are kind of sad that would lead up to the negative sentiment leading up to the lyric of midnight What I have done in this project is that from the available data sets online, that is websites like Kaggle and Genius.com where the lyrics are available. So from that I collected all the lyrics in the CSV file and we have to clean the lyrics because there are some redundant words which we have to ignore for analysis. So after data cleaning, those data sets would be tokenized. So we find like keywords from them and based on that the further analysis is done. And eventually when the sentiments are achieved like positive, negative day and night as I have coined the terms in this case. The visualization would uh, like have two different colors day and night and those would be represented through graph. That would make her understand the analysis like uh, what has uh, her past work been and how has it affected and how has it changed over the years in which context and up to what degree of emotion like the albums which were uh, released in 2006 maybe the night that was referenced in those times was different than the ones which are referenced now. 